It's time for school, and these children are going for the very first time. They'll make new friends, learn, discover, and play. The children go to two very different schools. One is in a big city, and the other in a country village near the sea. Today, we're going to the school in the big city. Are you ready? It's time for school. At Mere Green School, everyone is outside learning and playing together. Look, Toby is riding the trike. And there are Evie and Maisie skipping. Luciana and Jacob have found some water to play with. This is their teacher, Miss Mills. She's found something colourful to take outside. But what can it be? Should we make the water red? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But I'm going I to have the metal spoon. I didn't have a turn. Look how the paint mixes in and turns the water red. Even more fun to play with. Sit and I'll put some in as well. Mm-hmm. Good night. Look who's come to share the fun. There's Tom. And here comes Toby. What are you doing? We're trying to get some water. Everyone join in together. Nice idea, Tom. Not in this one. <laughs> no! Ooh. I've made red paint. I've made my own red paint. <laughs> uh oh, Luciana is flicking the paint. Oops, it splashed all over Tom. This isn't going too well. No, I don't want them here. He doesn't want them. I'm telling. I'm telling. Oh dear. She just flicked the balls out. All right, you've got. He's got. A, no, look, Luciano. He's got a bit of water on his face. So you flicked it, but it accidentally hit him. All right, so it was an accident. No, it was. It was on purpose. How do you know? And Jacob didn't want the board. And she just put some on me. What did I do? All right. Do you know what? I don't know what happened because I wasn't there. So can I just ask you to make friends? Would you make friends? So who, who wants to say sorry first? Me. Right. Sorry. Right, you say sorry, sorry. now. Right, are you going to shake hands? Hang on. Shake hands. Right, are you friends now? I right, know. You go and play nicely the together. Hairs look the same. <laughs> you both got curly hair. And Maisie has. And me has. Well, that's a great reason to be friends. Look <laughs> green. That's better. Friends again. And there's still time to play. Oh, 
Whoa, what's this? Julian has found a river. It goes all the way across the playground. Look at the children making a game of it. They're standing with their feet on either side of the river. Do you think they'll get wet? Oh, watch your feet, Luciana. I wonder where the river goes. Let's follow it. Toby's found the end. In the mud. There's still more time to play outside. And the mums and dads have come to join in. What are they going to do with all those clothes? I'm not going to the bottom. I want this We've got a big coat. Oh, that is big. We can, we can zip that up and stuff it, can't we? And the straw. Take that to Mummy. No. What's Lucy making? Do you know? I put a knot in the bottom of the trousers. Hey, babe. That's a start, isn't it? Careful, Amelie. That looks heavy. This is the messy bit. They're stuffing the clothes with straw. I wonder why. Lucy, that's too big. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what they're making. Why do you think everyone's tying up the trousers? <laughs> Lily May and her dad are busy. Have you guessed what they're making? <laughs> Scarecrows! Breathe in, Mr. Scarecrow. There's Toby and his dad. Go on then, glue, you glue him on the back there. Oh, oh careful you don't get too sticky. They're working with Lucy and her dad. We're going to make the scarecrow's head with the tights. Ah, decorating. The fun bit. <laughs> What's Phoenix making? You ready? Got them. Stick it Patches for the trousers. And very nice too. How am I meant to stick it on? It's gay. Buttons? Why would Toby need buttons? Which buttons shall we use? These ones. Those big ones. So if I draw a mouth on. Oh, that's brilliant. She wants a bit of hair. Is that Where are the eyes going to go now? Which one? Yeah. Oh, Where's your eye going to go, Luke? Ah, for eyes. Oh, that's good. He's a good looking scarecrow. Can someone put some glue on that for me? I know what that shape is for. Do you? Yeah. Can you press it down so it sticks nice? It's a mouth. Go on then, up you go. Stick it on. Amazing. Which way should we put his boot and boots? Facing the other way. This lucky scarecrow gets Wellington boots to keep his straw feet dry. Pick him up. Pick him up. Turn it round. Oh, let's tie him up, tie him on. Is he still smiling? The scarecrows look great and they're nearly finished. You've just got to put a little bit of straw in there. So it sticks out. There you go. Add a hat it. and oh, even God. some hair. And then you hold his hat like that. We're going to go lift you up and we'll try and put it on the stake. You might need some help. Can you put it on? Uh, that's it. Let's go and have a look at him. And look, a scarecrow. smiling scarecrow. He actually looks quite happy, doesn't he? There we go. Well done. All the scarecrows look completely different. Right, looking at me. Smile. Well done, Lucy. Good work, Toby. Brilliant. 
everyone has done a great well job. Done, everybody. If you all give us a smile, you look fabulous. Wow, what As brilliant scarecrow. looking scarecrows. Right, everybody, give us a big smile and say cheese. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks for helping, mums and dads. I wonder what's happening at Mia Green School this morning. Miss Mill's reception class is going out into the playground. Right, come on everybody, out we go to play. Oh, they've spotted something. Look, in the tree. What? Well spotted, Julian. Mrs. Cart there. Can you see what it is? I believe what's happened. Look, we've got a cat in the tree. It's a toy cat. Miss Mills is pretending it's real. I can hear it mewing. I can hear it going meow, meow. Children, what are we going to do about that cat stuck up the tree? It's a real cat. Call the firemen. Call the firemen. Yeah. Do you think we could do anything else? Yeah. Yeah. Be careful climbing the ladder, Mrs. Cartmel. She's got the cat. Well done. Toy cat has a poorly oh, no. paw. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, oh, oh no. Thank you. Thing. Shh. Who would like to carry him in sensibly? Right, you have to be so sensible, Tamara. Wait a sec. Where will I carry him too? Don't just. Right, let's carefully, carefully take him in now. Right, come on, guys. We're going in now. Right, come on. Nice and gentle with the patient, Amara. I think we need to send this cat to a real vet. If I send this cat to the vet today, perhaps the vet might bring the cat back all better. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. Should we give this cat a name? Because we don't have a name for this cat. Zoe. 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 Yeah. So the cat's going to be a girl. Oh, Zoe! This cat is called Zoe now. What a lovely name. I'm going to go to the office and get them to phone the vet now. Right, say bye-bye to Zoe. Bye. I hope Zoe gets better soon. Bye. See you soon then. Okay. Where's she taking us, do you think? Look, here's a real dog in the school playground. Is she walking us or are we walking her? This is Cleo, and she belongs to Mrs. Cartmel. Come on, Cleo, this way. Come on, this way. Cleo's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> She's very inquisitive because she hasn't been here before, so all these smells that she doesn't know, she's just trying to work out where she is and what the smells are. What is it, Cleo? Oh, should we take her into the orchard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's having a good old sniff, isn't she? Yeah. Where are we, Cleo? Can you see what, what's happening to her tail, children? She's wagging her tail. She's wagging her tail, look. Yeah. Whoa, she's happy. Yeah. I think she's getting used to it here now. So let's swap to Sophie now. Now, she's quite strong. OK, so just gently pull her back if she pulls too hard, OK? Keep up, Sophie. Cleo is full of energy. <laughs> Cleo. Oh, she's sniffing the plums. Look, she's thinking, hmm, is there anything to eat here?
Leo looks like she'll never stop running. Children, look who I brought with me. This is Mr. Gardner. Hello, everybody. Hello. He's a real vet. And he's come to tell you all about being a vet. And I've also brought your, your little friend that you found Yay. yesterday. Yay. Well, I believe you've called Zoe, is that right? Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. Right. Zoe well, we'll is back. Down here. Now, I'm sure you're all a bit worried about Zoe because you found her up a tree yesterday, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Bet she was a bit frightened and a bit worried, wasn't she? So what's happened, we'll just take her into the box. As you can see, she's, she's had a dressing put on her foot because she hurt her claws and got a splinter in her foot um, climbing up the tree yesterday. Yeah, and then he's got bleeding on his yeah. foot. So what we had to do, we had to clean that up, yeah. clean all the blood off, yeah. and then we took the splinter out of her foot. And then when you take that dressing off in a couple of days, everything should all be nice and healed up. If we pop her safely back in there, uh -huh. Children, what do you say to Mr. Gardner for healing our cat? Thank you. First of all, let's have a little look at this. Do any of you know what this is? A stethoscope. Yeah. stethoscope. Yeah. And do you know what it's for? Yeah. It's to take a heartbeat. Yeah, absolutely. Through listening to this bit, you can hear things like a heartbeat. You can listen to the, the breathing. You can listen to all sorts of things. So if you say hello. Hello. A bit louder than that. Very loud. You do have to be very careful because it's quite loud when you listen to that. And I'm just going to show you some of the things that we used to have a little look at dogs and cats. Does anyone know what this is for? That's right. It's called an otoscope and it shines a light down there so we can have a look in their ears. So can you see the light coming out from there? And that allows me to have a look and see if she's got anything stuck down her ears. Quite a bit of wax down there, but. <laughs> That's fine. Um, it's a toy cat. <laughs> no. Now, does anyone know what this it's might be for? No. Big scissors. They are a big it's pair of scissors, it's but they're a big scissors for a special job, and they're for taking bandages off. So I can slide the scissors underneath the bandage, and I can cut the bandage without cutting Zoe. In a couple of days' time, if you get your teachers to take her bandage off, her foot should be absolutely fine under there. Great news, Zoe is better. It looks like the children are going to play at being vets. They've found plenty of toy animals to look after. Put it on head. No, something hurts. Julian is showing Toby where the bandages go. Well, yeah. Amelie's got a stethoscope. She's listening to the toy dog's heartbeat. Wow, hasn't Toby done well with the bandage? Look how busy Sophie is. I bet she's glad Lucy's come to help. Don't worry, Jack. Vet Sophie will take good care of your rabbit. <laughs> what has Sophie found to put on? Do you think that's a vet's coat? Uh, Sophie, is that the right way round? Is it actually calling? That's better, Sophie. Now you can help Jack's bunny. What a lot of animals to see Vet Lucy. Keep on the video for me. Jack. 
Jack's bunny is bandaged up. Well done, vets. The toy animals are feeling much better now. It's the start of a new school day at Mere Green. Jacob's arriving with his dad. It's a special day for him. Is it your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy fifth birthday! There's Miss Mills. She's got a birthday cuddle for Jacob. I can tell that you're five today. We're going to have a little party for you. Thank you so much for bringing the cake. No problem. Enjoy. Enjoy. Right. Are we going to sing happy birthday to Jacob? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jacob. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Lovely, Jacob, are you having a lovely day? Yeah. What have you had for your present? A two-wheel scooter. <gasps> Walkie-talkies. <laughs> a light globe. What a lovely set of presents you've had. Yes. Now, Jacob's yes. mummy and daddy have brought him a cake in that he would share with all the children. Yeah. So, Jacob, you bring your cake over. Yum, yum. It's chocolate cake. That's nice. Jacob's sharing his cake with his friends. We've got two smarties and two chocolate bits and bum. Thank you, Jacob, says Sophie. This bit's got chocolate and a smarty on. I'm telling them what's on it. This one has got two Smarties on and chocolate topping. Do you think they're enjoying Jacob's cake? <laughs> the birthday boy loves chocolate. Look at those messy bowls. They need a good clean. And birthday boy Jacob is in charge. Washing the bowls. And I need somewhere to put them so I've got that. And Evie is going to help. I need pouring out water before they start. Pour the water into there. The bowls are clean, and so are Jacob's hands. It's playtime outside. Jacob could use a friend on the other end of the seesaw. Ah, here's Ruby. I'm five today. I'm four. I'm five, so I'm older than you. Yeah. Oh. And 
she's nearly two. <laughs> I've got another brother. And guess how old it is? How old? One. <laughs> and I'm five. So I'm five. Careful that you don't fall off. Whoops. <laughs> What's this Jacob has found? I got a frisbee. What a good idea, playing throw and catch with Julian. Was that flying? Yeah. Was that gliding? Yeah. That flying or gliding? No, that was so flying and gliding. Was that flying? It was both. So that was spinning. Yeah. It was gliding and spinning. Gliding, spinning and flying and and floating. That was floating too. That was, that was swimming. It went into the deep. Swimming, flying, floating. That. Oh, that was cool. Miss Mills is shaking the tambourine. That means playtime is over. Good boy, come on in then. Look, Jacob and his class are doing some art with Mrs. Cartmel. What are they making? Let's have a look. Birthday oh, okay. cards. So we've written I. So what could we say next to finish our sentence? Um, I love you. Can you write the word love? Ooh. Should we do ooh? Look. Ooh. Ooh. Like that. Did you know that? Jacob's card is for a toy cat called Mog. Can you see the picture of the cat he's used? <gasps> what are you going to do with that picture now? Send it to my mum. Send it to your mum? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mummy. Yeah. And some kisses for mum. Mm. Right, here's your. Mm. Why don't you have a go? Look how fast my arrows are going. Oh, OK, we'll try it this way. Jacob, what are you doing? What? Arrows. Arrows? And they're flying. Oh, why are you drawing arrows? Flying arrows. Flying arrows? Yeah. Who are they for? Mom. And what kind of arrows are they? To what do they mean? They're for him. They're pointing at Mog. Oh. And where did you get that idea from? I just did it. Arrows. That's very interesting that you're drawing arrows. They've got jets on. Oh, they've got jets on to them. To make it oh, okay. fly really fast. It's a beautiful picture. And I put some of them on. And what are they? They're ear defenders so it isn't very loud. Here's Miss Mills. She's having a look at Jacob's card. Wonderful! That is so clever. Yeah. Have you designed that? Yeah. Well, I think she's going to love that. Yeah. Have you written anything else inside the card? Look. 
It's her birthday today. Whose birthday? It's Mum's birthday. Is it? So this is a birthday card. What do you think you can say? Yeah. Is it anyone else's birthday today? My mummy's yeah, birthday. Is it yours? Yeah. Oh, I and remember. And it's my mummy's birthday. Is it? Well, happy birthday to your mummy. And happy birthday to Jacob. And Mark. Is it her birthday too? Yeah. What a busy birthday Jacob has had. Daddy. Yep. Casey Daddy. and Liz, would you come? Yeah, I've had the cake. Jacob and his dad head home to carry on his birthday fun. Today at Mia Green School, everyone is learning about farms. Lily May, Ruby and Amelie are dipping something into paint. What is it? A toy tractor. Look, they're making track marks. Lucy joins in too. It looks like the children are getting ready to go outside. Maybe Miss Mills has something special planned. We are going to the farm today. So can you find a partner and I'm line up? Be. Yeah, we're partner. They're going to a farm. How exciting. Do you think they'll see farm animals? Everyone find a friend to sit with on the bus. Seat belts on, please. Ready to go. Are we all okay, everyone? Yeah. And we're heading to the farm. Yeah. Off we go. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Maggie. This is Ian. I hope he knows the way. Never mind a bit of rain. There's a farm to look around. He's jumping at the farm. Mm -hmm. Right, you're going to jump up. Where's the boy? That's this. Right, off we go. Listen, what makes a quacking sound? Ducks make a quacking sound. Here's Farmer Jenny. She'll show everyone all the animals. We're going to feed the ducks with some cereal. The ducks don't get milk on their cereal. I have it dry. Look, what funny ducks. They look like they're wearing hats. I'll let you feed the little ducks. The little ducks. Hands wide open, Jacob. <laughs> He's made a new friend. We're going to say bye to our ducks. <laughs> what animals will they meet next? Baby. Baby goats. And these lady goats are called nanny goats. What do we get from nanny goats? Um, Milk. Milk. We have some daddy goats too. Here's one of them. <laughs> what do you think goats eat? Tasty green leaves. Few left. Look at those. Sorry, boys. The goats don't want to share their lunch. <laughs> Who's this with Farmer Jenny? All say hello to Morris. And he needs to have his bottle of milk. 
Morris is very hungry. The animals are used to being touched because this is a petting farm. Oh, that's brilliant, boys and girls. Oh, we get to say bye bye to Morris. Bye, Morris. Oh, this looks like fun. A model goat to practice milking. Just reach forward. Squeeze it. Is it coming out, Sophie? Yeah. Squeeze, Sophie. The pretend milk goes in the bucket. <laughs> Lunch time for the sheep. Ma. It's okay, Lucy. They just want some food. What do you think it'll feel like when you feed the lambs? Do you think so? Sir? I think so. Where are you sleeping? In me? Hey! Is this what I Nice and gentle with them. Oh. You have a little perch on your arm. Yeah. Can you see all those nice grown up feathers coming through? He's very nice. As baby chicks get older, they grow more feathers. Very good. <laughs> oh, I think someone's feeling left out. That's it. Oh, as steady as you can. Nice little stroke. Hey, little duckling. I don't think you should be out of your basket. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Roden. Well done. Oh, they've gone straight back under that light that helps to keep them warm. Snuggle back up with their friends. Remember to wash your hands. You should always do that after touching animals. is sheltering from the rain. And Mummy Pig is having a snooze. Oh, here are her piglets. <coughs> what a lot of noise. It's woken up Mummy Pig. This is Craig. He's going to tell the children about his feathery friend. This is Eos, and Eos is a barn owl. Who thinks Eos is cute? Me! Right, but Eos is a very, very friendly bird, and she likes to come and sit on the fence next to you. Right, so can I ask everybody just to move away from the fence? Children, step back and touch. Now, Eos, come here. Eos, 
Come here. Good girl. <laughs> now, I'm going to need somebody to come and help me. What's yeah. your name? Jacob. Jacob. Would you like to come here then, Jacob? That's the smallest glove we've got. Right, now, Jacob, can you pretend to be a tree for me? I'm going to put the ass over here. <laughs> hold steady, <Yes>. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, hold your arm up. Ready? Hold your arm up. <gasps> Jacob, you look fabulous with that. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Round of applause for Jacob. Well done, yes. Jacob. Good boy. <laughs> now, how about we have one of the girls from this side? <laughs> Casey. Hold your arm up nice and straight. Stand down the side. Eos! Here comes Eos, Casey. Good girl. Can we have a round of applause on the Casey? Right, boys and girls, now can we say goodbye to the barn owls? Thank you. It's been a very busy day on the farm, learning about the animals. Now it's time to board the bus and go home. This morning, the children are outside learning about road safety. Mrs. Cartmill is teaching them how to cross the road. What colour is it? Can you see the black and white stripes on the ground? What animal do you know that's black and white? Zebras, that's right. So that's really easy to remember because it's called a zebra crossing. This is a safe place to cross. And sometimes there'll be a lollipop man or a lollipop lady to help you over. Toby's going to be the lollipop man. Look, he's helping Lucy, Amelie and Maisie cross the road. the road and you put your stick down and say stop. Stop! And you cars, you have to wait. Now, is it safe to cross? Yeah. Is it safe, Toby? Is everybody safely across? Yeah! Right, Toby, you come out of the road now and let the cars go. It's Jacob's turn to hold the lollipop stop sign. Look, he stopped the car so Maisie and Tom can cross safely. Now the cars can go. Nice and slowly, please, drivers. Oh, that's really made up. It says no entry. What do you think Lily May's sign means? No cars this way. You'll have to find another road. <laughs> Miss Mills has invited some grown-ups in to talk to the class about safety. Now, children, what have we been thinking about at school? Please. The police officers. Hmm. So, has anyone got any ideas who it might be that's come to visit? Uh, who Simon? could it be? Police. Do you think so? I think Toby may know. Hey, children, these are our two visitors: PC Wayne and PC Neil. Hello. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. I'm PC Wayne Brown. I'm a neighbourhood officer, and I help look after you all and make sure that you're safe. Now, can I ask, do you all know what to do in a case of emergency? Do you know what telephone number to dial? 999. <coughs> well done. What do you think a police officer carries around with them when they walk around on the streets? Um, um, the phone thing then you... Yes, which is this radio here. Which... A badge. Yeah. Look <gasps> at that. I have got an ID badge as well. Anybody else? A police hat. The helmet. Okay. Wow. Very hard wearing. Do you want to pass it round? Please. I'll leave that there. It's PC right. Jacob. Uh, Most male police. And there's will Officer have Jamie. This kind of helmet. Police ladies will have this type of helmet. Would anybody else like to try it on? Yeah. Okay. Wow. 
Doesn't Danielle look important? Right, also, I've got some handcuffs. When do you think a police officer will use these? Put them on the hands. Put them on the hands, yeah? And why do you think we need to put them on the hands? They're so naughty. Exactly. Right, who's going to show us around your police station? Now? Look, everyone is dressing up in police uniforms. Lucy, I think that helmet may be a little big for you. Welcome to the class police station. Julian inspects the pretend jail. So you're in jail. How did you lock it? Push it. That's it. That you come. Well done, boys and girls. And what's happening here? They're making fingerprints. Look at the patterns. Do you want to take my fingerprints? Yes. Okay, tell me what to do then. Like that. then what Everyone's do? fingerprints are different yeah. and policemen can use them to help find people. Yeah. Oh. For five minutes. Five minutes? That's a long time. Okay. That is a nice good print, that is. Yeah. What brilliant police boys and girls. I wonder why Miss Mills is taking everyone outside. Wow! Look! A police you car! See it, Look at the lights on the front! The reason why we have these lights is so that other road users and pedestrians can see us coming. When you see a police car like this with the lights on, what else can you expect uh -uh. to hear? Nino, Nino. Okay, are you all ready for the Ninos? Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> Jack and Toby can't wait to hear the siren. That was awesome. Did you like that? Yeah, we Did you that. like that? Yeah. Good. How exciting. They're allowed to go inside. You see that button there? It says 999, doesn't it? Yeah. You press that 999 button once. Okay. So now, the blue lights on the outside of the car should be on, OK? But what about the sound? So, if you want the Ninars, Phoenix, if you press that button there, press it once. Okay. Oh, press I it know. again. <laughs> well done. Right, children, we are going to say a big bye-bye and a big thank you. Thank you! Very, very welcome, and thank you for having us. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Good. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> what are those children going to build with the blocks? Do you think it might be a police car? How clever! The building blocks fit together. Where do you think the wheels should go, Lucy? Looks like Miss Mills is going to help. Have you made this? For how many people was it supposed to hold? So what do we need to do? Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Good boy, Dylan. To make a bigger car, they'll need more building blocks. We need lots more. It's okay. Shay has found a big wheel. Got 12. 
Isn't that too many wheels? Oh, never mind. Should we rebuild it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get the yellow and blue ones for the side because they're the right colours for a police car. Brilliant. Great. I think this will hold six, do you? Yeah. How many wheels do we need? These. One, two, three, four. Four wheels. Good idea. I am so impressed with this. It's a brilliant police car. Do you want to put a roof on? We need to test it now to see whether it's big enough to hold six people. You all three, so how many more do you need? Um, six. Yeah, you need six, but you've got three, so it's three more. All aboard for a ride in the police car. I'll come too. Right. I'll come too. Get inside carefully. We're testing our car to see if six children fit inside. Hold on tight. Has your police car been big enough for six children? Yeah. But I can see seven. seven. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven. Seven children. Quick, go to your emergency. Nina, Nina, Nina. 